Right, part two, uh, Stephen Hartley, Banbury UK. Uh, the Bilderberg event is a setup to get peaceful, intellectual, good human beings in one place for possibly a sacrifice. I mean, isn't that what these people who Alex Jones have been saying? these people are bloodthirsty satanists who love who love a good old sacrifice and um, well what better way to bump off the sort of people who possibly in my mind who will be integral in the survival of the good humans after some sort of major disaster. I don't know if anyone has read the Knight Templars thing about this sort of Jewish takeover, sort of New World Order type thing, but they said beware the intellectuals. Beware them, but well yeah, watch out for them. And the sort of people who have cottoned on to alternative news and don't listen to the main media are bound to be listening to Alex Jones and you know I've got to say I'm having trouble thinking that he could be part of the bad guys but then I had this thought right on YouTube there is going to be some element of the bad guys they're everywhere right so they could be on YouTube and you know they are probably going to do things right and properly and get a big audience following them. and um, you know they're gonna hide themselves well so big brash Alex Jones shouting down the puppeteers um, could fit into that slot um, I like listening to Alex Jones I've got to say most of it I really like I like the way he just speaks off the cuff you know he is very good but you know you can see he can be a bit um, arrogant he can be a bit rude um, but you know who, picking personalities no one's perfect right and he has been around for a long time um, I saw on one of his videos he referred to something he was he had done in the past and there sure enough on the YouTube channel was that video now, I haven't checked all the ones in between perhaps I, I should um, but it just it just occurred to me he was around quite early on in sort of um, uh, trying to uncover the, these bad guys and weird things going on didn't get anywhere I mean who's to say that um, he should have gotten anywhere with it but I, I can I can kind of also just imagine that if he was uncovering things back then, then he may have got um, caught, or you know, a lot of people have been killed. Why wasn't he killed? He might be under their influence, and I just think it's a bad idea. If you believe these Bilderberg are such Satanist bastards that you would then go and put yourself in the middle of one of their events right next door to them with a canal behind you only one exit really through this fence um, and it could be a bit disturbing now what has raised my alarms about this event what seems quite odd number one 
I haven't seen one picture of anyone attending the actual Bilderberg meeting. And I put on YouTube a comment, I haven't seen anyone yet. You know, why haven't we seen anyone? And someone said, they're coming tomorrow. Right? Hang on. Paranoid, probably. Uh, funny that. Right, yes. That's my train of thought now. Well done, you bastards. Right. So, yeah, yeah. Put on YouTube, and it, someone said, oh, they're coming tomorrow. And then I put, what's that, two days fashionably late? So, you know, there's an event, a meeting, Bilderberg meeting, 6th to the 9th of June. And what, they're turning up on the 8th. Bit odd. Um, and at where Alex Jones and everyone is in this field, you know, they keep referring to the hotel, sort of look over there in the distance. You know, and the whole time they've been at this one road, at this one gate entrance. And it was all sort of, and that's when I thought, yes, it's a setup. Because. Because, you know, right at the beginning we saw Alex Jones getting there to England. You know, that's the thing a lot of English people are going to take an interest, aren't they? If they watch Alex Jones anyway, which apparently lots of us do. We're going to watch the English stuff. And, um, you know, so there they are sort of setting up this entrance. Oh, you'll be allowed in here tomorrow. And da 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 So it all seems very natural and everything but you know why that one specific place why should everyone go to that one place and they're going to have entertainment there tomorrow and um, if you do go I reckon a warning sign for something going to happen is if there was some good cheap drugs available or if seeming like everything was really cosy and you wanted to stay there because it's quite possible that 10 o'clock Saturday night Alex Jones and David Icke escape away on a boat and everyone's having a good time whatever and then they could quite easily sort of throw in a couple of ke chemical chemical things that looks like tear gas or smoke or something you know I just I have this feeling if these people are so bad and they love sacrifices and satanic rituals I would not want to be near them on their pinnacle night of their conference and why would they be arriving tomorrow when the date was the 6th the 9th so the fact that we haven't seen any people go in would mean that um, you know they're not covering who's going in which is what they said they would do arriving tomorrow or maybe they will maybe they will maybe just a load of black cars will be seen passing why would they arrive two days late? So these, you know, these people make all this effort to get together. There was something a little bit too public about this from the start. But I'm not going to go into that. What I'm going to go into next, and I'll do this as part three, is... um. what the next step is or what they're covering up.